There's a new client out for the latest version of Minecraft Bedrock Edition. To get Lyra, you can go over to their official website, lyrapvp.net, right over here, pretty clean as you can see. Here you'll find a button for their Discord server, on which I believe they're also planning on hosting a server or realms or stuff like that. Um, my Discord server is actually going to be linked in the description, and you can find information on different clients than this there as well. Anyways, you want to click on this Windows button right here, and that's actually going to automatically start the download for your launcher. And now it is important to keep in mind that the client is of course still in development, so things are going to be changing and updating and getting fixed as we go along. Anyways, here you'll have the launcher and you can double click on that, and as you can see Windows Defender is going to pop up because this is an unknown application. Now I can confirm that it is in fact safe to use, and if you also want to use it, you can click on more info over here and then run anyways. Of course, if you don't feel safe using it, then don't. Now here is the launcher, as you will notice you don't actually need to install it or anything, it's already there which is of course great. Um, I believe they only support 1.20.72 and 73, so 71 and 70 will both not work. In this tab over here, you'll find the news feeds, including some of the uh, releases. Of course, right now we've only had this one right here. And then in the settings area, this is some settings for this thing itself. So you can choose to inject a custom DLL if you have another DLL you want to inject with this. You can also customize some colors as you can see. Here we have it. By simply clicking on launch, you can already start up Minecraft. Um, It'll start automatically, I mean, I'm not sure why it says 1.20.71 there, because that's not my game version. Um, anyways, as you can see, we have the gotten the notification that it has been injected correctly. I'm on 1.20.73, as you can see. Anyways, I'll head into a world right here, and I'll show you guys how to use it. Anyways, here inside of Minecraft, you won't really notice it's enabled. However, when you open the inventory, as you can see, you'll get a little bit of a watermark here. Now... Pressing on the button L is going to open up the GUI over here. It'll not pause your game, but it will open up this area where you can choose all from between all the utilities that this client offers. Anyways, here we also have a search bar up top if you want to search for anything specific. And we also have a general settings area. As you can see, there aren't a lot of these right now. The most important one is probably this keybind one, which allows you to customize the keybind to open this up. By default, as you can see, it is set to L, but you can change it to anything if you want. Anyways, here in the modules area, you'll found you find all the modules that this client currently has. Using these modules is actually pretty simple. To enable them, you can simply click on this button and they'll be enabled and you can click on it once again to disable them. You'll see all of these have a little settings cog over here where you can customize some stuff. Depending on these things, you can also set a keybind for them. Anyways, a lot of these are useful utilities that are going to show up on your screen and and display stuff. This one displays my clicks per second, that one my coordinates, etc. Let's enable, say, three of these, right? Um, Alright, it crashed. As I said, still in development. It's in early release stages. We should be expecting this stuff, of course. Let's just enable two of these instead. And now you can see that we have a clicks per second counter and a combo counter. Now this clicks per second counter, we can click on this thing over here to make it as big or as small as we want it to be. Maybe I want it to be a little bit smaller. Maybe I want my commas to be a little bit larger, right? Who knows? Then you can simply click on this and drag it to be displayed anywhere in your screen. Maybe I want my combos up here and my clicks per second down there in the corner. Or maybe I want it on the middle of my screen. It really doesn't matter. You can then click on escape to close it and now as you can see we have a combo counter and a clicks per second counter. Let's go ahead and fight this cow. Now as you can see I'm getting a massive combo on this cow because I'm an incredible pro and I managed to pretty consistently keep up 5 clicks per second because I'm an incredibly skilled Minecraft player. Um, anyways, basically that is the point of these. You can customize them, you can choose whichever ones you want. Um, you can of course disable them again if you wish to do so.
And that is basically a type of utility that this client has. Most of these, or actually, yep, yeah, pretty much all of these are that type. Um, however, there are a few different ones that don't display stuff on your screen, but do different things. Fulbright, for example, um, you have texture packs for this, but it's also built into the client. What this does is make your screen not dark, make caves bright so you can actually see stuff. And probably the one that I think is most useful is zoom right over here. I can enable it. As you can see, nothing's going to show up on my screen because that's not what it's for. We can click on settings. and As you can see, this one actually allows me to set a keybind for it. The default one is C, and I'll just stick to that right now. However, if I do want to change it, I can simply click on it and enter any different one I want. Anyways, what you can do with zoom is if I now press on C, as you can see, I can zoom in and look places, right? Just as you can with Optifine on Minecraft Java Edition. But we don't have that on Bedrock, which is why stuff like this is very useful. Anyways, that's basically Lyra Client and how to use it. Remember, they're all linked down in the description below. If you do have any more questions or stuff like that, then please feel free to let me know down in the comments. But for right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I do hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.